Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, the first thing you want to do is hit the subscribe button below. That way you get the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox. All right, we're back with Robert. I almost said B. Ryan. Well, that's the other videos, but we're back with Robert. What's up, man? All right, so here we go. We're back with the Vico Ultra Jet uh, Repair Series. We're in like part nine or 10 or something like that. Uh, we're installing the through bolts, okay? So there you go. We removed these in the other video. Now, like we showed you, we've lined up the end belt, put the armature in, and we're just going to be slipping all four through bolts through the motor, all right? There you go. Robert's going to place that motor in a little bit of a spot there. Nice job, man. All right, remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. We have over 900 videos for you to watch online. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. If you're a pool guy watching, what's up? How you doing? Uh, learn how to fix your customers' pumps if they don't want to do it. Believe it or not, you might be thinking like, oh, man, this is just for the homeowner. Not actually. Not every homeowner wants to fix their pool or spa pump. So if you're a pool or spa pump guy, you know, learn the trade, man, and they'll put you to work. They might buy the kit and pay you 50 bucks to install it, 75 bucks. But hey, man, it's cool. It's worth it. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm just going to clean the camera lens for one second. Hold on there. All right, there you go. That wasn't too professional, but either was Robert. No, I'm just joking. No, either am I. No, I'm just joking. All right, here we go. So there we go. All right, there we go. Nice job, man. He's just going to what he's going to do now. Right, just like that. He's going to line up the wet end housing with the marks. Okay. There should be a mark right here, man. There you go. There's your mark. See it? Yep, perfectly. Yep, just like that. Yep. Here's your bolt here. Right there, man. Right there. See? There you go. All right, so there we go. Just like that. You know, you might you might struggle. You'll get it. You'll eventually you'll line it. You got it, man? Yeah, what I, oh, what we usually like to do is wait to lift it up a little. We prop sometimes if you if you uh, if you want, whoa. We can prop prop it up there, watch. Just yeah, put, put this underneath there, they give you a little bit of room to work on it. Just like that. So there you go. Robert is now gonna align. You can see we have motor markings on the marking of the pump there, everything's lining up. There you go. Now he's got the through bolts. You got your through bolt through there? Yep. And then he's going to use nuts. He's got nuts. Show him the nuts you got there, Robert. Uh, no, not, not your nuts. Sorry, women. If that if you're out there watching, then we don't mean like that. We're not trying to be like that. Yes, yes. There's no way. To, Ryan Seacrest could have cleaned that up nicer, right? Uh, you even heard Brian laugh in the background there. Our producer, Brian. He was like, hey, hey, watch it, watch it. We'll have to call legal. No, I'm just joking. All right, so there we go. 888. Eight 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 eight. So if you're from Rochester, New York, uh, that was a shout out to Salino Marm, right? Hurt in a car called William Vitar, right? Isn't that what it is? Or is that seven 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 seven? I'm serious. So if you guys, if anybody's out there from Rochester, New York, and I get a lot of customers, right, Robert? They're always like, "Yeah, I used to live in Rochester. I went to school in Buffalo." Well, in uh, Rochester, New York, uh, we have a couple locations. We have a Rochester, New York location, a Long Island location, and a uh, Florida location, soon to be expanding in California, but. Yeah, up here, everything is an 888 or a 7777, right? Which is good luck because Chinese like the 8, we like the 7. All right, so getting back to the pump video, Robert's just uh, – I was I almost forgot what we were doing there for a second. Robert's now – he's got the nut into the pump there, and he's uh, – there you go. He's tightening it up with a nut driver. So there you go. You're going to do all four just like that, and your wet hen housing uh, will be attached back to your pump. Uh, all right, all parts available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.